Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams and in this video I'm going to show you how you can pick and create a good background image for your website. In this example, we're going to imagine a website that makes meal plans for healthy food recipes. So to find a good image, I went to pexels.com, which is a website where you can find free uh, images for commercial use, so you're allowed to use them on your website. And I did a quick search for the word vegetables. Now, as you can see, this shows up a lot of images, but many of these images are really not good images for background. Why not? Well, because the colors are too different. So as you can see here, for example, in this image, you will have each time a very clear um, a very light color uh, on, on the image and then a very dark color. So this will always be difficult for a text overlay. And that's what we want to do on your website. It's having a background image and then a text overlay. So there are other images that are way more suitable for this. So the same here, this is a bad one. This would also be a very bad one for a text overlay. Um, but like something like this would be very interesting because it has a nice texture and a very uniform color. And the one that I'm going to use for this tutorial is this pan with the broccoli soup. Now I picked this image because I think that it fits the idea of a meal plan. So it's actually very related to the topic of the website. And I think that this image will be good for a text overlay. So first of all, we're going to do a free download and we need at least 1920 pixels. So that's the size we're going to pick and let's download this. Now the image is downloaded, but we're not going to use this image as such on the website because still you can see that this has different colors and so a text overlay would still be not very visible. That's why we go to PicMonkey. PicMonkey is an online tool. It's completely free. And what you have to do is click on edit and then on your computer, you can choose from the downloads. And let's pick the image we just downloaded. As you can see, this shows you the image and we can start adjusting it so that it actually becomes a good background image. So first of all, we're going to crop it. So we want to keep it 1920 pixels wide and the height is really up to you. Like I would say a minimum of 600 if you wanted to have like this effect of a big background image on your homepage. But um, yeah, the, like the actual real height you can choose for this tutorial, I will put put 800. Now we can drag this to pick the nice part of the image and then you just click apply. So now we have our background image, but this is not a good image to put a text overlay on it. Let me show you because if here you click on text and you pick a font and then you add the text and let's simply paste some text in here, make the size bigger so that we can see what we're doing. And that's center line. Okay. And now even if we put this in white, as you can see, this is not a good overlay because this is pretty hard to read. Like especially the healthy is pretty hard to read. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick a colored overlay so that we can actually make sure that the text stands out and that the image becomes less important. So to do that, click on the butterfly. That's the overlay. Click on geometric, pick a rectangle. Now we can see this black rectangle and just simply like drag it over the complete image, like cover everything up. That's, that's the goal here, that the whole image is covered. And now in your layers, you can see that here you have like the rectangle and underneath it you have the text. So we're gonna take the text, we're gonna drag it and put it over the rectangle. So now you can read the text very good, but we don't see the picture anymore. So that's not the goal. Now click on the rectangle again here in your overlay menu. You see something that's called fade. And so here we're going to apply a fade. And now ta -da! you see that the image is showing again. And even with only a 30% fade on the black rectangle, you can really see what happens in the background, but without taking away the focus of the text. And so this is super important that you do this for every background image that you use so that you can be sure that what's most important on your website, mainly the title and what you want to communicate to people is actually showing. So this took us what, maybe two minutes. 
and now this is ready for your website. Now this text, I put it on the image just to show you how it looks like when you have text on the image, but we don't want to put the, uh, the actual text on our image here. We want to put it later on our website so that for SEO purpose, the text is actually readable. So we're gonna delete this layer. So select the layer and then click on the trash. Now the text is gone and we can save this image. Click on save. Let's pick a JPEG and make it called background. You can see that this now is 241 kilobytes. So I'm going to save this to my computer. And then we're going to optimize this image for the web. So we're going to go to websites called Kraken. Kraken is a free service that will optimize your images. So you can go try to the free web interface and then you can upload the image. Now, as you can see, it's working and we went from 241 kilobyte to 94. So that's, that's less than half. That's like 61% saved. So now let's go to the download file. And you won't see the difference. Like that's the cool thing about Kraken. Um, if this is for a background image, so you will never see the difference, but it saves more than half of the loading time. So let's save the image again. Call this like background two to make sure to make this different. And now you will be able to upload this on your website as a background image. Now there's one last thing that I want to show you that I think is just a cool little trick because even though having the black overlay will most of the time be the best solution to make sure your title is readable, sometimes you want to do something a little bit more fancy. And for that, you can go to a tool that's called angrytools.com gradient. And then uh, I will make sure that the link is below and you will be able to create a gradient. And so here I took like this green overlay. I went from a light green to a darker green and you can see here generate image. So what we want is an image that's 920 pixels width. And remember we had 800 of height. So I'm going to generate this image. And then here, when you go to gradient image, you will be able to download it. Now let's go back to pick monkey and let's delete this black rectangle. And instead, let's go back to overlays and then add your own from my computer. And here I can pick the overlay we just created. So let's make it a bit bigger so that it covers the image again. And I'll just put some text on there again so that we can see what happens. Now, this is actually also a cool method to use if you don't want to use an image. If you just want to use like a colored background, you can use this gradient tool to make like a little gradient that looks good. Um, but for now, what I wanted to show you is if we go back to the gradient overlay, we can again fade out this image. And so now we're combining both. We're having like the gradient and the image. And this could also be a great way to get an original image, an original background image for your website that is still very readable and that will not hurt your conversions. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you will be able to make better background images for your website.